Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to have a look at the Civivi Backlash. And as always, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase this knife, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Here we go, the Civivi Backlash. Weirdly enough, it's not spelled B-A-C-K, it's B-A-K, so maybe I'm pronouncing that right, but I think a lot of people pronounce it Civivi Backlash. Available in a lot of different color combinations, but I like the way that looks with the blue lining and the black G10. Let's start off with our size comparisons next to a permanent marker. Right, give a look at that there. Let me fling this open. All right. Just to give you an idea of what that might feel like in your hand. And of course, get the ruler in here. We'll go tip to tip. All right, just about eight inches all the way open and closed up. Uh, just about four and a half inches. And if you're wondering about the thickness, a little bit chunky. So here is the thicker side of a pair of chopsticks. And it is just about the same thickness as that. All right, let's get it on the scale here. Weighing in at 3.8 ounces, just a little bit heavier than a full deck of cards. And you can open up the backlash with this thumb lever here. You see the jipping on the front. Pivot point has a stainless steel ball bearing system and it just flies open on the pivot, very smooth. This is a liner lock as we've seen a little bit earlier. You can see the insides here, the cutouts, skeletonized liner to save on the weight. And of course to close this, you move that little lever on the side at the base of the blade, close it up. Let's have a look at this drop point blade profile. Look at all the aggressive swedges and angles in here. Woo, that is fierce. Hollow grind here, so it's not flat. There's a curvature on that blade right in here. Satin finish. Nice jimping up here in the top. Nice little curve for your thumb to sit in. Good finger choil, so you can choke up if you want to do more detailed knife work. And if you're wondering about steel type, we got 9CR18 MOV. Man, MOV's been around for such a long time. Great corrosion resistance, high levels of chromium. Now, this isn't as hard as something like D2 steel, so you're probably going to have to sharpen it more if you use it a lot. But it does take a really nice fine edge. Let's have a look at these beautiful G10 scales. Remember, available in a few different color variations. First thing I want to point out is I love the way they did this stepped beveling in here. Just came in here, right out there. Great contrast between the checkering and the slice in here, that nice little bevel. Gives it really good depth perception. You can really see the pattern in the G10. You have a smaller bevel on top here. Beautifully done. These holes here are for the pocket clip. It's reversible to the other side. This is a tip-up carry. Backspacer, matching G10. Love the contrast between the blue and the black. Kind of wish they would have put those Torx screws with blue as well. But at least you know you can take it down, lubricate and clean it. Nicely done on that side too. Let's have a look at the handle design here. Nice little curve in here. Comfortable in the hand. Full grip. Very easy to take this lever and just move it on the side. Close it with one hand. And if you're wondering how deep this pocket clip goes, let's have a look. Not bad. It's pretty deep. Well, all right, guys, this has been your look at the Civivi Backlash. If you're looking for a knife with a crazy look and drop point design, it's a fast opener for a great price. This might be the blade for you. Well, all right, guys, that's the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase this knife, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.